So in my last sewing tutorial, I got a request for a grocery slash shopping bag. So that's what we're making today. So all you're gonna need is some canvas. And I also have some trim, but this is optional. So the first thing of course is to measure out your tote bag. These are the measurements that I am using, which I will also put in the description box. A little tip, if you have wrapping paper laying around from Christmas, then you can use this to make your patterns because they usually have a grid on the other side. I cut my pattern on the fold. So now we have a front, a back, and two open side seams. And now is usually the time that you would sew up those side seams. But since I'm doing something a little different with my straps, I'm gonna finish the top of my bag first. So I folded it down half an inch twice, and I put in a top stitch through my sewing machine. And then this is where that extra step I was talking about comes in. So I am using a trim and for the life of me, I cannot think of what this is called right now. So I will put it in the description box. And this is what I am using as my strap. This you could actually just attach at the top of the bag if you wanted to, but for style purposes, I am attaching it to the entire body. So all I did was attach that to the outside of my bag, making sure that you wanna leave just a bit of a gap along each side of that fold line. And this is what it looked like when I was finished. So now you're going to put your right sides together and sew up your side seam. And you know what? You could call that done, but I'm going to go an extra step and create a bottom to my bag, which will also create side gussets. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So now what you want to do is kind of manipulate your bag so that your bottom seam lines up with the side seam. Then you want to mark and sew a perpendicular line. So now you'll basically have two triangle shapes on either side of your side seam and you can either cut away the excess or you can actually leave them the way that they are because the stiffness of the fabric will actually create a little bit of stability, which will help your bag stand up. But if you do decide to cut in, remember, always press your seams open. See how nice and clean this looks? That's because we pressed the seam. Mm -hmm. Doing this creates a side gusset, which is just a fancy way of saying we've now created some depth to the bag so that when we place things in it, there's actually a nice little box shape for it to sit into. So there you go. That is how I make a shopping bag. And of course, you guys can make this even simpler if you want some variations. As a matter of fact, you guys probably noticed in the thumbnail, I have a version without straps. So if you guys want to see that, or if you want to see some other tutorials, make sure that you leave your suggestions in the comments below. I will see you guys next week. Bye.